John Park Custis was a Virginia planter, the son of Martha Washington and stepson of George Washington. Childhood The son of Daniel Park Custis, a wealthy planter, and Martha Damdridge Custis, he was most likely born at White House. His parents' plantation on the Pamunkey River in New Kent County, Virginia. Following his father's death in 1757, almost 18,000 acres of land and about 285 enslaved Africans were held in trust for him. In January 1759, his mother married George Washington. The Washingtons then raised him and his younger sister Martha Park Custis at Mount Vernon. Washington became his legal guardian and administrator of the Custis estate. Upon his sister's death in 1773 at the age of 17, Custis became the sole heir of the Custis estate. Jackie was a lazy, difficult and free-willed child. He took little to no interest in his studies, family and works. In 1773, at the age of 18, Jackie, as he was known by his family, announced to the Washingtons his engagement to Eleanor Calvert, a daughter of Benedict Swinger Calvert and granddaughter of Charles Calvert, 5th Baron Baltimore. George and Martha were greatly surprised by the marriage choice due to the couple's youth. During that year, Custis began to attend King's College in New York City, but left soon afterwards when his sister died. On February 3, 1774, Custis married Eleanor at her family's home at the Mount Airy estate, whose restored mansion is now in Roseryville State Park in Prince George's County, Maryland. After their marriage, the couple settled at the White House Plantation. After the couple had lived at the White House for more than two years, Custis purchased the Abingdon Plantation in Fairfax County, Virginia, into which the couple settled during the winter of 1778 to 1779. The terms of Abingdon's purchase were extremely unfavorable to Custis. His eagerness and inexperience allowed Abingdon's owner, Robert Alexander, to take advantage of him in the transaction, which required Custis to pay the principal of the purchase and compound interest over a 24-year period. The compound interest on the £12,000 purchase price would require Custis to pay over £48,000 during the 24 years. To accomplish this, Custis would need to pay over £2,000 each year during the period of the agreement. When he learned of the terms of the purchase, George Washington informed Custis that no Virginia estate can stand simple interest how then can they bear compound interest. Custis' behavior in this and other matters prompted George Washington to write in 1778. I am afraid Jack Custis, in spite of all of the admonition and advice I gave him about selling faster than he bought, is making a ruinous hand of his estate. By 1781, the financial strains of the Abingdon purchase had almost bankrupted Custis. According to one account, Custis served on Washington's staff during the Siege of Boston in 1775-1776 and served as an emissary to the British forces there. He became the friend of a young British officer who gave him a weeping willow twig that he planted at Abingdon. The tree that grew from the twig reportedly had become the parent of all weeping willows in the United States at the time of the account. In 1778, Custis was elected to the Virginia House of Burgesses as a delegate from Fairfax County. George Washington was apparently not pleased with Custis' reported performance in the legislature. Washington wrote to Custis, I do not suppose that so young a senator as you are, so little versed in political disquisition, can yet have much influence in a popular assembly, composed of various talents and different views, but it is in your power to be punctual in attendance. John and Eleanor had seven children four of whom lived to maturity. Elizabeth Park Custis married Thomas Law. Martha Park Custis married Thomas Peter. Eleanor Park Custis married Lawrence Lewis. George Washington Park Custis married Mary Leaf at Hugh. Death. 
Custers served as a civilian aide-de-camp to Washington during the siege of Yorktown. However, Custis contracted camp fever while at Yorktown. Shortly after the surrender of Cornwallis, Custis died on November 5, 1781, in New Kent County at Eltham, the home of Colonel and Mrs. Burwell Bassett, brother-in-law and sister of Martha Washington. He was buried at his family's plot near Queens Creek in York County, near Williamsburg, Virginia. With Custis's premature death at age 26, his widow sent her two youngest children to Mount Vernon to be raised by the Washingtons. In 1783, she married Drive, David Stewart of Alexandria, Virginia, with whom she had 16 more children. Although Custis had become well established at Abingdon, his financial matters were in a state of disarray due to his poor business judgment and wartime taxation. After his death in 1781, it took the administrators of the Custis estate more than a decade to negotiate an end to the transaction through which Custis had purchased. Abingdon, because he died in testate, his estate was not fully liquidated until the 1811 death of his widow, his four children inherited more than 600 slaves. Part of the Abingdon estate is now on the grounds of Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport at the time that he purchased Abingdon. Custis also bought a nearby property that after his death became the Arlington Plantation and later, Arlington National Cemetery Ancestry.